the concept behind the most valuable radiology practice and how it would be used is that I could see that the large ideas involved in the most valuable radiology practice or imaging 3.0 were big concepts, uh, but actually deciding how to accomplish those concepts, it, it's kind of like the old adage, every uh, journey starts with the first step. And so what I wanted to do was uh, outline where the steps might be, where people could start on the path to improving their practice and improving their value. And that was the whole kind of genesis of the project was to give people a practical roadmap on how they could uh, accomplish Imaging 3.0. One of the things that we've seen in the last few years is that radiology groups around the country have uh, been uh, tremendously innovative in creating value in their own uh, locale and uh, using those individual ideas and putting them forward uh, and adding them to this most valuable radiology practice document, again, just gives groups more opportunities to say, well, that sounds like a really neat idea, let's try that. My concept for it was that it would always kind of have three pillars. One was clinical, one was the business operations of a practice, and the third was leadership. And I couldn't imagine not involving the RBMA in the business aspects because that's their true area of expertise. Uh, it, uh, I think in order to collaborate across societies, you have to decide uh, where the efforts of both are in the same direction. And rather than duplicate efforts, you can help each other and be much more effective.